Hello everybody, so today's Primus here, and this is another episode of the Heathen Horde. When we last left off, we basically uh, built up a bunch of hill forts and tried to uh, solidify power in the kingdom, build it up, make it run more efficiently. We didn't really do too much actual conquering of things, because we're still threatening, as always, and we haven't really uh, done all that much... Uh, actively recently. It's largely been our vassals mucking about and messing with people. Hopefully this episode will get a little bit more done. Uh, we are, however, running into a problem where we are continuously threatening. I don't like that. I have half a mind to declare war on this asshole, such that I can uh, get my land back, but it won't happen yet. Getting messenger stations, totally worth it, gold. And more children doing children things. Why doesn't this one... Right, because he's with fucking Guardian. Excuse me a minute. I need to uh, make sure he actually, you know, learns how to use a sword eventually. Because even if he's going to be a schemer... He kind of needs to, you know, know how to do something, right? I hate it when the AI does this. As I just go through all my errors, and, you know, assign them to the right kind of guardians as opposed to the wrong kind. I mean, look at this one. He's with me, he's with me. Put him in the right place. She's with me, okay. Finally fixed that. I keep forgetting to check for it because it's the silliest thing ever. They really should fix that. Looks like the deal, we get prosperity up. It's because the AI tries to find people with um, certain kinds of traits and things and not have it dependent upon their leader, because they're trying really, really hard to uh, make their errors capable of being good at other things. Uh, like, for example, my error got a little shadow. I would never be capable of really giving that to him, uh, but here's the big one. Now he's kind of shit at everything else. Ooh boy. Uh, please get damage. Good. Alright, I have an error. He's been groomed. He's kind of shit, but, you know. These things happen. It's not the worst. Uh, people expect wealth on that one. Now married into the Boers, who are underneath the kings of Vinkenland, or Sweden, however you wish to say it. <laughs> Uh, and we will be dealing with our next ambition. I could go for the ten kids because I already have a bunch of them, but I'm beginning to get up there in age. Um, mass wealth, that's a lot of money. Build a war chest, that's about the same amount of money. <laughs> um, I'm going to go for convert province because it's what we've been trying to do for forever and a half. And we really need to get it done. slightly more important and a change of one doesn't really matter all that much. I've half a mind to give my heir Lancaster, but I can't. Because he's my heir. One more will cost me a hundred, I think. I really don't like sons picking up cool. Just ends badly. This yingling is not a bad idea. Yeah. Okay. Please don't die, me kid. Come on. 
There we go. Of course, it's when I say, there we go, a successful treatment, and it still dies pneumonia. Great. He's one of my better sons, too. Damn it. Oh, the line's gonna get a whole lot worse. There's not a whole lot we can do about that. Love to get more soldiers. I'd love to also be able to, you know, use them. I will upgrade that to a castle. Boom. Tutsbury. Although it should be Litchfield. But <sighs> things happened. Chancellor got yeah, whacked. So we pick up where exactly? Hallamark. Okay. Well, that's interesting. I have an Irish plantation now. Well, it's not quite a plantation, but you know what I mean. We have territories in Ireland. I'd much like to uh, pass off to somebody. Let's see who we have for somebody to pass it off to. This man named Ake. Yeah, it's not a bad idea. Almark, therefore, the best of food. Almark, them. Make one tag. Get your food. Them. And. Get your food. Basically, making him my, uh, underling in Ireland. He'll do a decent job. 20 stewardship. Wow. Okay, so when my steward finally kicks the bucket, I'm making him in. Unless he's not. He's not. Okay. Uh, but it'll be my chancellor for now. Very useful dude. It says I need to recruit for tradition. Let's see if I have one on hand. I do. Good. I have a random 400 men lying around, probably from that land I picked up. And there we go. I also like how the uh, progression of less beards goes with generations. We're sticking with pretty boy no beard. Ugh. Becoming less Viking. Iron crown and an engraved sword. That's not bad. Yes. Much rather have the long sword for that. Clank with Gimme. Uh, need my son here. Why can't I give him because he's not land holding right. Well we could fix that. Don't really want to, never mind. Takes one look at the, co the counties I can go on. Dope. Never mind. Ah, uh, well. I'm busy. Don't really need to go do that sort of thing at the moment. I'd really like to intervene in this, um, this war. Shrewsbury and Welsh. Largely so, you know, I can pick up Shrewsbury and whatever Welsh pieces they acquire. Again, children getting cruel. Eh, it's not my kid, I don't care. Cruel is just a bad trait for the AI to try to figure out. They will start doing all kinds of dumb shit. Chest pains. Oh boy. You're. Really? Did he, like, just die? Oh. Yep, bastards. Great. Uh, expose. I don't really care, but expose. What town was she would make? 
Okay, not bad to see her. There you go. Yes, I expose you and then I promote you to being my seer. You're clearly watching me. It's not like the Norse actually really cared about that sort of a thing. She's not married. It doesn't matter. At the moment. Ivarin converted. He must die. Okay, it's happening. It's it this this is essential. Um he's not part of a defensive pact against us. Is there a defensive pact against us? Yeah, there's a Christian one. And he's Christian now. Crap. Well, that's annoying. Alright, we're coming for him. That's a add special interest and make hate. I should charm it away with words. Uh, sure, sure. Enjoy. Stubborn and gregarious. Attractive. At least he's a trained fighter. Better than nothing. Tall. Yeah. It's a decent trait, but he's down the line. I just need something that's barely decent. Oh, the England girl who I keep passing off. <laughs> One brother, the next brother, the next brother. Alrighty, you want me to give you an opinion. Show bravery. There we go. That's my boy. Alright, Shrewsbury's done with his little war now. We can now offer vassalization, which he will accept. Be better. There we go. Gain more Danes to the realm. Next question is, is can I get... Now, he's Christian, even though the Lord's under him or not. You'd be the next possible Avarian that I can uh, manipulate. So let's... Um, he's in a war. Including the Liberation Revolt. I could uh, get in on that. Subjugating Galway. Fighting off a Scottish Liberation Revolt. Sounds like my kind of thing. This is largely just protecting a sphere of interest. It's not actually important. It's more of a... We, we should make sure the other Norsemen on the island don't get uh, converted. Beaten. Because uh, it's a bad world when you're the one thing of your religion left. Get everybody together and go smack Galway. Plus, I'm pretty sure I can get him under me. Pretty sure. I'm not like 100%. Because he is in Scotland. But. Might do. Alright, we gotta go smack that. I should take some attrition. Yeah, a little bit. Not too bad. And we outnumbered them by 10 to 1, and yeah, they don't have generals for shit either. Of course not. Alrighty, he's a novice fighter, but a duelist, so that puts him to his combat skill 10. I think mine's like 12. Yeah, he's dying. And he runs away. Some duelist, right? My marshal is being... he's extorting the peasantry, eh? Again? Why do they always do this? I mean, other than the fact it gives them a buttload of money. Um... I don't want my local tax modifier to be minus 50, but that's my option either way. I'll deal with it later. Probably gonna imprison him at some point. If I whack him, it goes to this kid. That's what I think they had to do with his father. No, nope, never mind. It's not the entirety of a family line getting whacked for abusing power. Alrighty. Go to this. You. Come on, I know you want help. No, you don't. It's a civil conflict. You can't accept help. Right. Elgi's actually got decent. Let's try and get him some of some of marriage. Doesn't have to be good. here. Again, doesn't have to be good. Get the men back to Northumbria and call them down. Good news is, is we had a shitload of men. My friend
friend became aghast when I told him that I sent the Miller's boy to the nearby city with my finest stallion. I will never see that horse again, he said, utterly convinced. But he was wrong. Of course, it's an endowed check, so. Okay, over here. I would love to get up my majesty. Is that the one that gives me prestige? Yeah, it is. Yeah. And I could use some light infantry. Because my army has a buttload of it. Alrighty, that gets the two of them together. He's shit. Just the worst of all shit. Why would my sons be good? A 14 year old boy died in battle, joining the rest of his family. That leads it up to the Flambards. Wow. That means that the Af Wessex line is dead. The House of Wessex is dead. I repeat, they're all dead. We killed two of them. And the third one got whacked off by a, a minor lordling under the Dutch. That's interesting. Well, Alfred couldn't save them. Eh, you don't mind, I don't care. Ah, uh, boy. Something tells me that's a nasty one. Oh, uh, smallpox. Yeah. Um, we're, we're closing those gates, like, now. Because uh, smallpox is bad. Fun facts. And uh, I don't want everyone to die. Who is it? Somebody I don't care about? Yep, throw out. Yep, her too. Just keep tossing them. Alrighty, the court faction still loves us, so we have more levy. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I'll throw him out too. throw everybody out if I have to. Yep. Oh no. Not my son. Uh, oh crap. Um, he's my last hope of having a decent hero. I'm currently called Halftan the Zealot now, and I've inherited Lichfield from Tyke. Lichfield, who was murdered by this... by my wife. Of course, of, of course she just starts murdering my vassals. Eric here gets better while he's tossed out. Probably gonna die soon. I need a better commander now. Braggy. And let's get over here. I have Lichfield, right? I remember where that is again. Here it is. That's the better castle. Clearly. I'm going to... Where's my... Hang on a sec. I should be able to make this the capital. One moment. This is silly. I could have asked him to raise ships for his levy. Where is make capital? That's the wrong button. Alright, but first up, I need to make the Duchy of Mercia. I have too many... people. I suppose they are. Underlings in the Duchy of Mercia without actually having the Duchy of Mercia. I'm going to award it to the Lord of Shrewsbury. You are to be the Jarl of Hereford. I own a lot of this, though. So you might not appreciate it. Okay. I'm now going to transfer him some vassalage. Of Worcester. Where is it? Come on. Warwick. Wow, 
Buster, Talmor, Hyrak, Richmond. Hmm. Interesting. Oh, he's in war. I can't transfer him. Of course. Why wouldn't my houses be at war? Ah, uh, boy, we're running out of food. So this might be how the uh, family line ends. <laughs> I hope I'm kidding. Uh, great. Y you got whacked. No, don't tell me it's my wife. No. Okay, personal combat. Good. And starving. Great. Great way for a king to die, right? Tell me this thing is ending soon. I have a grandson. His name is Carl. He's perceptive. He might not be shit. Or he'll be like this one and grow up to disappoint me. Every time. He's actually even better than the dude we have currently sitting around as chancellor. Be barely. It's not bad. Alrighty. There we go. Lift. Come on. Claiming that my son's being unfaithful. That's nice. Okay. Uh, crap. The thing became Christian. <sighs> you're ruining my pagan horde, man. Because you're Christian now, you're Christian now, you're Christian now. This one's pagan now, which is great. We're last man standing, I think, in this part of the world. Of course, the, uh, Scandinavia is still pagan, like it should be, and there's the pieces of Scandinavia we haven't owned are pagan, but we seem to be the uh, last topmost ruler of pagan in Britain. Uh, that could be a problem. Namely, the defensive pact against me is going to be massive. This dude, however, is still pagan. I think a couple of the other guys under him still are as well. And Galway is pagan, but he's tiny. He only has 200 men, and he's losing against this dude coming after him, which would put him as a pagan. Uh, he might get the um, duchy and get him out from underneath the Christian, but I doubt it. So that's going to be a pain. Hmm, rats. Tasty. Tell me this thing's lifting soon. Come on. They come to me speaking of God from the Carl Engine Revolt. Uh, no. No, that's... that doesn't fly here. Well, looks like we actually got what we wanted, and the Carl Engine Empire is having a massive revolt with an actual kingdom to title against, that might be a problem. Because the West Frankians tend to be... Uh, well, they tend to be strong, but this one just isn't. Yeah, he's kind of doomed. Well, the revolt is kind of doomed, but that should at least weaken the Carlingian uh, legitimacy a little. Should destabilize Carlingian Empire just a little, but... Oh, I have a grandson from the air now. Putil. Oh, you, you mean we're going to have a king that's not named Goofy the Halfdan? Huh. I don't know how I feel about that. I approved it, but I don't know how I feel about it. Okay, I can create two kingdom titles now, which basically means I can... If I create two kingdom titles, I will have three, and that means I can create an empire, as I recall. Go down here, found a new empire. Requires a lot of money to do that. And we're already 40. So I don't think we'll be able to make Kafdan the Emperor. I think Goofried here might be capable of becoming an Emperor. Which is kind of the goal. We're trying to make Jorvik massive. And with that massive Jorvik enforce uh, the Norse religion upon Britain. And, well, you know, the rest of it. The rest of it? Or the rest of it? I don't know yet. We'll see what happens. Picking up the bits of Scandinavia along the way was just, you know, we could. 
I didn't suspect we would actually do it, but it was an opportune moment. If the smallpox could just stop now, please. Or, you know, my family line's about to be all dead from smallpox in 20 minutes. Who knows? Speaking of 20 minutes, we're coming up on the 25 minute mark. I'm going to end this whenever this damned play ends. Come on. Stop. Stop! It's just smallpox. There we go. No. Scroll out too far. That slows us down. Disease always does. We need a physician. Yeah, we need a physician. 16 is meh. It's better than what we can get out of a random draw sometimes, and I don't think we can actually go for a random draw at the moment. Nope, we'd have to raise the gates. That's not happening. Oh, boy. My wife is an evil bitch sometimes. Um, but to do. Good to know. I like how we surrounded this one little count. No one's taking them out yet. I can either toughen her up or learn her. She's not really all that martial. I mean, actually, she is all that martial. She doesn't matter anymore. Uh, just tell him I'm busy for your prestige. Uh, boy. Gurfried's had a bastard. Called Ele. Or Ale. However, you prefer to call him. Ah, that's a pain in my ass. Struggle. You. Well, you're ill. Hopefully you die. Oh uh, boy. He's trying to uh, break down our alliance. Considering it's uh, an alliance of halfway across the damn world, I don't really care. But I like to keep it just because uh, smacking up Bulgaria sounds amazing when he finally gets around to it. He should be doing that right now, but apparently... How strong is Bulgaria? 3,000? You have 5,000 men! Smack Bulgaria! Come on, man! What are you doing? You're just raiding Slavistan. Great. Of course you are. <sighs> I have gained a friend. Good to know. We're clear! Yay! Okay, we've survived the nasty run of smallpox. We can hold the grand tournament if we really want to. Or, what I think we should do is hold a blot. To, you know, celebrate the end of the tenth episode of this series. That being said, I don't appear to be able to do that yet. Oh, it's not late enough in the year. That's why. Better. Oh, I still haven't commissioned a runestone. Come on, man. We gotta have a runestone to goof it, right? There we go. That will do it for this episode. Never mind. Frodi here wants to go to um, Byzantines, which we know as Mikrogard. Um, that's what Norris called them. Uh, you will gain both riches and valuables in one valuable battle. Experience and service the Greek king. Oh, shit, the Wessex just subjugated. Anyway, uh, although you know, you'll gain goodness, uh, he, he could end up dead. Uh, and frankly, recall he's uh, second in line. He's, he's fourth in line now. Um, kind of shit. And frankly, I don't really care too much about him. Oh, make me proud. It's not doing anything here. The problem, however, is Wessex just got eaten by the Carolingian Empire, which is probably the absolute worst thing that could have happened. Uh, 
Uh, we couldn't really do anything about it. Shit. And that revolt went down easy, too. Uh, that's just obnoxious. And the terrifying thing is, it's already 910. The Carlingian Empire is doing just fine. Well, that leaves us with a couple of problems to solve for next time, namely uh, how to kick the Carlingians off of your island, uh, dealing with a bunch of uh, converted Norse, and uh, hopefully getting this damn threatening score to much lower. Well, I'll leave it here. Thank you all for watching. Please like, subscribe, and do whatever you feel to if you've enjoyed this content. Thank you. See you in the next one.